let's finish up this module by talking about a few things that we can do to get our geometry ready to export. So the first thing would be that uh, if we have any unnecessary geometry, there are ways that we can delete that before we export our geometry out. So let's take a look at um, let's take a look at the pants here, and I'm just going to hit Alt and click on the pants to make those active. Um, let's just hit Solo. So we're just looking at the pants now. So the pants are tight along the body of the werewolf, and we do have geometry uh, there for the body of the werewolf. And so really, the interior of the pants isn't something that necessarily needs to be painted. And so that may be one area where we can get rid of uh, some geometry. You can see we've got faces on the inside in addition to the ones on the outside. So depending on how it's broken out, you could polygroup the, uh, the inside faces or if they're already polygrouped like we have them here, we can go ahead and hit, just hit shift click, uh, shift control rather, click, and that'll isolate those interior polygons. Okay, if we shift click, again on those you can see that they go away and we're left with the outside polygons which is really all that we need so assuming that we're at the lowest level we want to be at the lowest level when we do this so let me go in here so those are hidden what we can do now is go to geometry modify topology and we can delete hidden That'll actually get rid of all that interior geometry, save us a lot of resolution that we can use on something else, make our scene a little bit lighter when we bring it into Mari. So now when we go back up, you can see our interior geometry is not there anymore, but when we turn the rest of it back on, you can see it doesn't affect how that looks. So we've just made our scene a lot lighter without any visual impact at all. Now, when we go to export our objects, and you can see we have several subtools here that we'll want to export uh, to get those out into a form that uh, Mari can read, we'll probably be exporting in an OBJ format. Now, there are some export settings at the bottom of the tool palette. So if we come down to export all the way at the bottom, you can see we can choose to export as quads or triangles, and that's a one either or. So I'll choose quads, and there's some buttons right below that. So if you want to your UVs to come along with your geometry, you want to make sure that you have this texture button turned on. You don't have to have a texture on it, but it'll make sure that the UVs are exported when you export your mesh. Okay, the merge deals with overlapping polygons. Groups, if this is on, it's going to export, it can separate your model into different groups. And we don't want that. We want all of the geometry to come out as one sort of piece. And so let's just turn that off. So normally I'll have texture on and groups off in most cases. And then I'll also be using quads. So with that set, all we would have to do is on a particular subtool. So if we're on the, the body here, we would go to the level that we want to export and just come up to the top of the tool palette and click export. And that would allow you to save out uh, an OBJ. Now we can also come into our Z plugin Subtool Master and we can come in and there's a lot of options here. We can go into export here and we have some options for what we want to do before we export. So we want to clear all of our masking, uh, show hidden points, single polygroup for each subtool. We could do that. So each subtool would be a single polygroup. And then uh, we could say, okay. And if you use that, it'll actually export all of your visible subtools instead of one at a time. So it depends on, you know, if you're done and you're ready to export everything, that may be a way that you could do that. You could also come in here and the multi-map exporter, you can also uh, export meshes too. If you're exporting different kinds of maps, you can click that on and it'll export your meshes as well. All right. Now the ground, let's say, uh, let's say you're going to use PTEX for that. So for that, you don't need to use your UVs. You don't have to have a UV layout. So if you want to, you could, you know, just turn that option off and not include it when you export. Uh, but I think you can have UVs on there. Uh, so if you wanted to do it the normal way and then just choose PTEX when you start painting that in Mari, but you don't need those UVs and you can turn those off in your export settings before you move over to ZBrush. Okay, so those are just some of the options to keep in mind when you're uh, exporting from ZBrush to get into Mari.
In the next module, Eddie is going to take you through the process of creating Mari projects and getting your, uh, your, your geometry and your models from ZBrush into Mari so that you can begin working on those.